you always you, you definitely always have to call up but sometimes chicken is it just like a big deal yeah i like it's just for my family it's tradition that i just have chicken it's not a big deal um, <laughs> uh, but i have soccer on weekends so i don't really follow like country so on uh, like on monday we're going to have a I uh, don't do any electricity. Nothing that was is written in the Torah has been prohibited on the Shabbos on the um, Yeah, this includes that I don't drive. I don't. I try not to. Like I don't want any fires. No, no cooking. Um, so you prepare your food in advance. So yeah, prepare it for advance and keep the lights on. You know, just don't. Just as long as you don't change the. You know, whether it's on or off. You can keep them on. Um, yeah. So I'm how about your use of technology? Yeah, so no, no, anything that has electricity, you can't use it. So no cell phones? No cell phones, no computers, nothing, no TV, nothing like that. Now, the truth is that it's my favorite part of the week. I look forward to it every week so much that like, I don't know how I feel to get along with that shop at this point in my life. So it's, 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 it's a way you get away, you get away from everything, you know. When you have conversations with people on shop, they're just so much more intense, so much more involved, because there's no, no distractions. There's nothing you could be doing instead of this. All you're doing is this. Uh, yeah, so like you said that um, like you do what uh, you don't do what is like prohibited, you know, in the, in the Torah. Like obviously they didn't like prohibit like no electricity or anything. So like, well, how do you get like from what's prohibited? Good like, question. Yeah. Great question. Um, so you see, your question is that you know, had, since there was no electricity back then, how do we know we can't do it now? Yeah, is that what you're saying? So the, the Torah was written right in. You know, every single word of the Torah, every single line of the Torah is, is very meaningful. So we have people who, who have really studied into the Torah, and they, they have wrote books and lots of commentary that, that derive what the meaning of the Torah, of the Torah, of the Torah is. And in the Torah, it states that you must listen to your rabbis of your generation. You know, you know rabbis, right? The people, yeah. The people, leaders of the leaders of the generation in terms of Hebrew studies, Jewish studies, and, and they... They take the Torah and then they, it's their job to translate it to modern time. That's their, that's their job. So they say that there's a prohibition to not use fire on the Sabbath. Because it's creating. It's creating. And God's not creating on the Sabbath. And so what they decided that ele the electricity that runs through you know, the current, they, just, they, decided, they decided that the Torah wanted us to not use Because there's a spark. You know when you turn on your car, there's a spark. But if you turn on the light, there's a spark that happens. There's a spark that happens. You can't like do that. I know no writing either. So no, yeah. Do you guys have like a service on like the shop bus every week? Like we have mass, or do you guys not do that? Yeah, I know at my um, reform temple there's a service on Friday night, and then there's a service on Saturday morning, which is usually led by the bar bat mitzvah like that week. Um, so like that's what like I led a Saturday. I guess we all did yeah. lead a um, Saturday service, but I don't know. Right. So yeah, we um, really shabbos for those that are Jewish. Branch. Shabbos is all about just just praying to God and, and thinking about God and learning uh, what He has to say, what what He says in His Torah. So, yeah, we, we have Friday. The Friday night it starts, and Friday night we go to we go to synagogue and we, uh, we we pray for you know an hour, and then we come home and we have our Shabbos meal. Then the next morning we wake up, we go back to synagogue, we, we pray again for like a lot longer, and then we come back home, eat, and then after we eat, and then maybe we have a little break then in order to either get some rest or um, or just. Or do whatever, you know, hang out with guys and people and fun time, and then you uh, go back to the synagogue until the shop is open. You walk. You walk. Yeah, you, you walk the whole time. So, like, generally they live in close proximity. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess my question deals less with religion, more with politics. Where would you say our loyalty most lies with Israel or the United States? If the United States is to go, their foreign policy was to turn against Israel. And I understand that you're allowed to uh, serve in the Israeli army with the king as well, right? Yeah, I'll talk about that. I can, I can move on to it. Yeah, you can get into that one. Yeah. Israel's actually the next section, so good little segue. It's just this is a um, half dollar candle. <laughs> it's a <laughs> <little more. laughs> yeah. um, So you light it on Saturday evening when it is something like that. And it, um, it's basically like on Friday you welcome in the Sabbath, on Saturday you're welcoming in the rest, rest of the week. So it's great. It uh, means the separation between the Sabbath and the rest of the week. And there's some spices up there, maybe? Yes, there are. 
So do you guys like believe like Jesus was a real person or he was just like a fantasy person?